This is 3.6 day two homework. Um, number 33, we want to use synthetic division to find P of K. So we want to, we, okay, so the easy way to do find P of three, it would be just to plug it in here, right? You would do three squared minus four times three plus three, be nine minus 12, be negative three plus three would be zero, okay? Now, that's the old way of doing it. Now, we, it says here we want to use synthetic division to do it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to divide that 3 out. Um, be 1x squared minus 4x plus 3. So bring the 1 down. X, that times that is 3. Add them together. That times that is negative 3. Add them together. So by looking at this remainder, I know that p of 3 is equal to 0. Okay. Number 34, if I want to find k of negative 2, I'm going to divide out the negative 2. 1x squared, 5x plus 6. Okay, bring that down, multiply and add, and multiply and add. So this one also has a remainder of 0. So I know that p of negative 2 would equal 0. So both of these, since these are equal to 0, he didn't ask you to do this, but we know that these are the zeros. These are solutions, right? p of 2 is equal to negative 2. So I know at negative 2, 0, that goes through there somehow. Okay, so I know that's a solution. And over here at 3, 0, I know my graph goes through there somehow, so I know that's a solution as well. Okay, 35, we want to divide this out using synthetic division. 5x to the third, 2x squared minus 1x plus 5. So bring down the first term, multiply gives you negative 10, add to give you negative 8. Multiply 16, add together gives you 15 and multiply to negative 30, add together is negative 25. So I know that p of negative 2 okay, is equal to negative 25. So a point on the graph would be at negative 2, I'd be way down here at negative 25, okay? which is not a 0 like the other ones were. Okay? But it's still we can evaluate for that point. Okay, Divide a 2 out, be 2x to the third, minus 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. Okay, so bring the 2 down. 2 times 2 is 4. Add. 2 times 1 is 2 and add. And negative 6 and add. So looking at my remainder here, I know that p of 2, if I plug a 2 into all these different x's and evaluate it, it would equal negative 2. Now, if you think about this, that this actually might be easier than taking two and plugging it in and evaluating for all those things there, right? Because the, the synthetic division really doesn't take that long to do. Okay, number 45 gives us this equation here, and we want to know is two a zero to this equation, okay? Um, so different ways you could do that. Uh, they tell us to use synthetic division, but we're gonna just think about other ways as well. One way is you could take this two, plug it in here, and it should equal zero, right? Another way is if you would graph this, and it's a parabola opening up, right? If you graph it, does it go through at 2? Okay, so that's, that's kind of what we're asking here. So by using synthetic division, we're going to divide 1x squared plus 2x minus 8. Okay, so um, bring the 1 down. 1 times 1 is 2. 2 times atom and 8 and atom, okay? So if our remainder is a 0, then yes. 2, x equals 2, is a 0. Okay, because we would get we would get p of 2 is equal to 0, right? So we have the point 2, 0. Okay, that's our point there. Okay, so here we're going to divide that out. 1x squared, 4x minus 5. 1, negative 1, add, and negative 3, and add. Okay, now... If you think of this here, we know that p of negative 1 is equal to negative 8. So at negative 1, is it a 0? Okay, nope. So at negative 1, it's down here at negative 8, right? So it, it's not going through at 0. So x equals negative 1 is not a 0. Okay, 47. I'm going to know 4 is a 0. 4 is a solution to this. So let's divide it out. 2x to the third, negative 6x squared, minus 9x plus 6. Okay, so 2, b8, add them together, b8, add them together, and negative 4, and add them together. So, not a 0. So we know that p of 4 is equal to do, 
therefore x equals 4 is not a 0. Okay, 48, uh, divide out negative 4. You know, this is probably quicker to do this than it is to like graph this and see what, look at your x-intercepts or to even take this x and plug it into all these values and evaluate it. So it'd be, it's quicker to do it this way. So we have 9x to the third, 39x squared, 12x, and 0. Okay, so don't forget that 0 at the end. Okay, um, so bring the 9 down, it'd be negative 36, it'd be 3 be negative 12, be 0, and that turns out 0 and 0. So we have a 0 remainder, which means we have p of negative 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, x equals negative 4 is a 0 to the function, a solution to it. Okay, in number 63, they tell us, okay, so we know it's an x to the third. There needs to be three answers to this, right? So they give us one of the answers, and we need to find the other two. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide this out. So we're going to divide that 1 out of here. So it'll be 1x to the third, 0x squared, negative 2x plus 1. So when we divide this out, 1 times 1 is 1, add them together. 1 times 1 is 1, add them together. 1 times 1, negative 1 is negative 1, add them together. So this basically tells us my factors are going to be x minus 1, because of that 0, and 1x squared plus 1x minus 1, okay? So I know when I solve this one, I get x equals 1, right? So we have that 0 already. This one, uh, I could try and factor it. It's not going to factor. Uh, I could try completing the square. I could try the quadratic form. It doesn't matter. I'm going to try the quadratic form. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. Okay, so that gives me, what, negative 1 plus or minus the square root of, uh, this would be 4, 1 minus 4 would be negative 3. No, that'd be plus 4. 1 plus 4 would be 5. Okay, and there I have my other two answers. So the positive and the negative. So um, my solutions are 1, you don't have to write this out but all the time, but 1, and then negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, and negative 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Okay, those would be the three answers to this. Now, you can go into Desmos and check this as well. If you graph this and look for those x-intercepts, it'll be at these three points. And if you put these into decimals, you can, f you can make sure those decimals match up. Okay, uh, multiples of 3 here, so 66. We have x to the third minus 7x squared plus 13x minus 3. And we know that one of the answers is a 3. Okay, so we'll divide out the 3. And 1, negative 7, not missing any terms here, so we're good. 1 times 3 is 3, add them together. Negative 12, add them together, and 3. So we know our factors are x minus 3, which gives us x equals 3 as a solution. And then the second one, we have this right here, would be x, 1x squared, minus 4x plus 1. Okay? So once again, this is not going not gonna to factor out to solve. And um, I'm going to use completing the square. So I'm going to set this. I'm going to subtract your 1 to the other side. Just to give something different to give you a, you can use either one. Okay, to complete the square, half of negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. So I add 4 to both sides. So this would be x minus 2 squared equals 3. And then I'm going to square root both sides. And then lastly, get add the 2 over. Okay. So we should have, it's x to the third, we should have three answers. We got one, and then two plus the square root of three, and two minus the square root of three. So we got our three different answers. Number 69, we have negative x to the third plus 8x squared. And we know that one of the, one of the answers is x equals eight, okay? 
So we're going to divide that out. That times that is negative 8, add them together. That times that is 0, add them together. That times that is 24, add them together. So our factors are x minus 8. From this one, we get x equals 8, right? And then our other factor is negative x squared plus 0x plus 3. Okay. Now to solve this one, since there's no x term, let's use the square root method. So um, I'm going to add this to the other side just because it's negative. And then I'm going to take the square root. And don't forget the plus or the minus. So we check. We have three answers. Should have three answers. We got one answer here. And the square root of 3 and negative square root of 3. So we've got our three answers. OK, number 72. We want to know all the factors to this. Okay. So we have 2x to the third minus 3x squared minus 5x plus 6. And it gives us a solution. We know that x equal k equals or x, either way you look at it. Um, 1 is a solution. OK. So let's divide that one solution out. One times two is two. Okay. So if I write them as factors, and that's what they want in this one. We don't want the solutions, we want the factors. One factor would be x minus 1 from this one. And then here we have 2x squared minus x minus 6, Okay, with 0 remainder. Now we still want to get factors here, so we want to get factors. This one doesn't factor down farther, but this one will. So we get 2x and x. And um, let's see, that'd be minus 2 and plus 3, because that'd be negative 4 plus 3 would be negative 1. Anything else factor down? Nope. So we have our three factors. Seventy-five, we got negative six x to the third. We know that one of the solutions is negative three. So we'll divide it out. That times that is 18. And negative 15. And 3. Okay, so our factors are x plus 3. And then negative 6x squared plus 5x minus 1. Okay, now we haven't really done this much with a negative x to the 6, but we, it's really the same idea here. Um, so let's say it's negative 3x and 2x. Could have something just a slight bit different too, but um, okay, so I need um, a positive 1 here and a negative 1 there, I think, because that gives you negative 3 and negative 2, it gives you negative, um, nope, let's try this. So that gives me positive 3 and positive 2 gives me positive 5. Okay, so I have the factors there. Number 78. Okay. Once again, we want all the factors. Okay, so we're going to divide out the negative 9. Whoops, zero, right? Okay, so our factors are x plus 9 and x squared minus 7. Okay, and then we want to see if we can simplify these at all. Um, I'm fine if you leave it like this. 
Uh, another thing you could do is think about that as a difference of squares, which we haven't really done before because 7 is not a perfect square. But you could write it as the square root of 7. So x plus the square root of 7 and x minus the square root of 7. So I'm, I'm okay if you leave it there too or there. Either way is fine. Okay, number 81. Okay, so we're going to our long division here again. Okay, and remember there's a 0x squared here. Okay. Okay, so what times 3x is 3x to the fourth? It's 3x to the third. I'm sorry, 1x to the third. So that gives me 3x to the fourth minus 7x to the third. And we're going to draw the line and change our signs to subtract. And they both cancel out. So that's nice, isn't it? Um, we don't have that to bring down. So the next things we bring down is really just this. So what times 3x is 6x? 2. So 2 times that 3x minus 7 gives us 6x minus 14. And those cancel, and here we get negative 2, which is our remainder. So minus 2 over our 3x minus 7. Okay, number 84. Okay, so what times x squared is x to the third? x. Which gives you x to the third plus, okay, careful here, plus 3x. So let's line that up here, right? Plus 3x. So I don't want to put it under the x squared there. Okay, draw the line, change your signs. Those cancel. I have negative x squared here and negative x. Okay, same process over. What times x squared is negative x squared? Minus 1. Gives us, okay, make sure you line them up correctly again. So negative x squared minus 3. Okay, and we draw the line and change those signs. Those cancel, those cancel. I'm just left with the negative x. Anything times x squared equal to negative x? Nope, so that's our remainder. So negative x divided by my x squared plus 3. Okay, last one, number 87. I believe it's the last one. Yep. Okay, so same process, even though it looks a little more confusing. What times 2x squared is 2x to the fourth? x squared. So we're going to take that and multiply it by this, all this here, which gives me 2x to the fourth plus 3x to the third plus 2x squared. And I'm going to draw the line and change those signs. Those cancel. This gives me negative 4x to the third and plus 2x squared. And I can bring down those other terms if I'd like to. Same process. What times 2x squared is negative 4x to the third? So negative 2x. Gives me negative 4x to the third minus 6x squared minus 4x. I'm going to draw the line and subtract by changing those signs. Those cancel. This will be 8x squared plus 12x plus 7. Okay, same process over. What times 2x squared is 8x squared? 
So plus four. Okay, that's eight x squared plus 12x plus eight. Draw the line, change your signs. Those cancel, those cancel. We get a remainder of negative one. So we have minus one over our two x squared plus three x plus two. Okay, that concludes section 3.6.